Give me your love someday. I don't want it back. You be giving me your love someday. Giving me, giving me. You be giving me your love someday. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So as you know, we always bring you the latest and freshest content and today I am not alone. I am with the soft boy himself. I mean, there's literally no words that can describe what this man has done with regards to his music and his craft and his art. You better check it out. And you were featured on my very first vlog where I actually went to the yeah. listening session. So please do make sure that you catch that before you watch this one. So I'll put the link in the description box just so that you know what we're getting ourselves into and who we are speaking to. This man's gonna be making waves, bro. <laughs> Introduce yourself, period. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Um, I go by the name of Stitch Fanatic. To those who don't know me, I. I don't really like to say I'm an artist, you know, I just, I believe an intro should be done with, like, seeing with action, you know, mm. so I feel like people need to go check out what I do in order to know who I am, because I do know. For me, you act like you know, act like you know. this time it shows, if you ain't got feelings no more, for me. Giving me your love someday. I don't want it back. You be giving me your love someday. Yeah, I'm a soft boy. Period. Soft boy, Doing the most on this channel. And yeah, thank you for having me. Shout out, shout out, shout out. So usually we'll probably have like interviews and speak about you know the person or the artist themselves but i wanted this series to focus more on the artist the person behind the work the mind behind the actual artist so we will be having a conversation about quite deep things you know just to unlock certain parts of yourself for you to be aware that you know what in order for you to achieve certain things there's certain things you need to overcome within yourself in order to to really walk into your destiny at whatever stage you're in because we often want to hear such conversations when the person has made it but what about the beginning surely there, there's something behind that mind so that's exactly what we're going to be getting right into so are you ready for the first question <laughs> okay let's first start with Spirituality. I know it's a very broad conversation and topic, but I just want to know what, where do you go to find your sense of peace? Because you are in a very crazy industry. Yeah. What do you do and how do you maintain that peace within yourself? Because honestly, you are the most peaceful person I know. So I just want to know that in, through it all, how do you maintain your peace? What do you do? I definitely found my peace through prayer. Yeah. That's like the first thing. Yeah. <laughs> Prayer. You know, I'm not just saying that for the sake of saying it, because like a lot yeah. of people just say it. Yeah. You know, speak about God. Mm. It's like, God, are you really for you? That's a really good question. You know, but like I found my peace in prayer, reading the scriptures, the Bible, right. was, you know, the third thing was like music. Right. For sure. Yeah. Like, I started listening to gospel like I think last year. Yeah slowly ease into it sure but now it's like it's my go-to <laughs> it's my go-to if, if like i'm not okay you just I, go to the I, gospel I, music yeah. Yeah. so it takes time before you actually you know embark yourself on this journey with regards to maybe worship music yeah. it doesn't just happen it's not a flight by night Honestly. Just, like i never used to like gospel yeah it was just like i never used to understand it but i always knew that like they were, they were here. Point in Where time you that actually it will like connect with nah. you. Know, so, yeah. Sure, that makes a lot of sense. And I also wanted to know: Do you believe in men practicing self-love, or do you think it's only something that is connected to females? That's a great <laughs> <laughs> self-love. Yeah. And when you hear the term self-love, what comes to mind? Do you just think? self-care taking care of yourself physically or do you think of it deeper or attach it to something deeper yeah when i first heard that when you said self-love i thought of taking care of yourself physically and emotionally and mentally and spiritually 
we're gonna break all those parts down today. <laughs> I wanna know how do you apply self-love mentally? Because a lot happens with regards to your thoughts, your mind, everything, yeah. conversations, and the way you think. Yeah. How do you incorporate self-love mentally? Self-love mentally could definitely be through meditation. Yeah. You know, getting your mind in order. You know when you wake up like in the morning, and the first thing you think of usually could ruin your day mm. or make it go good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's all about like getting your mind right. Mm. You know, because you may not sleep good, yeah. and you wake up feeling some type of way. Mm. But like, if you're able to wake up in the morning and be like, "Yo, I'm going to get my mind right," mm. you know, I'm going to read that Bible, mm. I'm going to start my day with prayer. And start my day off meditating, mm. you know, reading like a book, even if it's not a Bible, just a book. Like, that's for me what you call taking care of your mind. Sure. 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 Yeah. You remind me of something Steve Harvey said. He said, when you wake up in the morning and the first thing you say to yourself, it's like your mind starts manufacturing certain thoughts then he made an example if you tell yourself that oh you hate your work you mm -hmm. hate your life mm -hmm. you will start getting thoughts that back up what you've said yeah. which makes a lot of sense so shout out to you for that yeah. yes yeah, be careful how you start your <laughs> yeah. day telling you it's very important right and then emotionally because mentally and emotionally they they're interconnected because like you said if you think of something negatively you, or, or a negative thought it you end up feeling yeah. negative and that's just not like that's the spirit telling you hey, what hmm. you think about is not it's not the one no. you know? so you just have to like People, a lot of people get the feeling, but they don't listen yeah, to it. Period. You know, like, mm. I've been through it. I've done yeah. a lot of things where, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> where like I really wanted to like not do that, mm. but I did it. <laughs> and you regret afterwards because you knew that you weren't supposed to do that. <laughs> exactly. It happens. You know, it happens, you know, but like that's the process of learning as well. Period. Like, if I did not take that decision, I would not know not to do that. Yeah. So, right? Yeah. You learn from it at the end of the day, so, so I guess it counts for something. Yeah. To answer your question, I feel like emotionally, hmm. it's just listening to yourself. Mm. It's just, they're just connected just connected what you think about if you feel good about it yeah that's how you take care of yourself sure you know i'm not saying be a deep person and i think about yeah. everything and overthink you it nah, yeah. just just relax you know take it one step at a time yeah like literally you've got all the time in the world even if you have an assignment juice in me all the time in the world just make sure that you do it properly sure yeah that's beautiful yeah. since we've covered the spiritual mental and emotional what i've noticed is just how connected they really are mm -hmm. so if you think negatively it's gonna affect your emotions and it can affect you spiritually as well sure. you know what i mean so the physical part uh, phys physical. physical part is quite easy because it's different for everyone some people prefer to work out some don't yeah. some you know do the whole self-care you know what i mean it's different for everyone but i wanted us to focus more on the internal part or the internal side of this whole thing of self-love just so you guys can actually see and understand Yo, but you I know can, coming from a male can i just say yeah like, even taking care of yourself physically can yeah. make you feel good inside period <laughs> that is <laughs> true it's, it's well kind of like connected to you know yeah that's so true if you take if you look good you look in the mirror it's like damn that's good you feel good already that's positive you do you know also if you start working out you start feeling really positive and good and just fresh you know what i mean so i, I do get i do it's get it. but i just feel like we shouldn't focus more on the physical and neglect the others yeah. to neglect your soul to neglect your mind but focusing more on looking good so i do get your point because yeah, you, you also good. can't neglect your physical you know yeah. it's they just all need your attention yeah, yeah. you can look good and feel like the world is yeah it, the world is ending you know a lot of people do that 
No? Yeah. Like a lot, yeah. Sure. Okay. Then not what do they speak? Well, they four or five. I think they four, because it's mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional. Spiritual? Yeah. I mean, like I already talked yeah, about it. Yeah, you spoke about it, and we concluded. Yeah, yeah, no stress. So, another question I have for you is, do men or guys go through seasons of insecurities? <laughs> and I want to know, is it because I feel like for women, we highlight it. But the men, it's like, nah, it's not a big deal. I mean, like a lot of, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you did it. <laughs> a lot of bruise. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of bruise, like, yeah. like to put on a mask, you know, mm. like to act like, hey, bitch. Shit doesn't affect me, but it actually does. Mm, yeah. You feel me? It does. Like at the end of the day, you're human. Yeah. We all human. You can't yeah. tell me you have a break heart. Uh, even that person that plays the girls or that girl that plays the guys, they also have feelings. Yeah. You feel me? So, in terms of insecurities, I feel like we do go through them. They're different. It doesn't have to be based on like females. Yeah. Yeah. Depends where you look as well. Sure. Or like in school when you felt inferior to the mm. next person because they were smarter, mm. that would bring like insecurity. You feel me? Sure. So. And then how do you deal with them? Like how do you get over it? Is it just a thing of it being easier for you to just accept that okay, this is a flow, let me just get over it because I can't change it or whatever the case is? Or does it happen that you kind of overthink it or think about it a lot and it ends up controlling you so the, the question is how do you not allow it to get the best of you because it can really mess up a person because now your actions might change because you're you're acting from a place of insecurity and you don't feel enough you know mm. what like do you think <laughs> I, I told you we're going to <laughs> Going deep. <laughs> I honestly feel like in terms of that, mm. it, it all goes back to like knowing yourself. Mm. Do you know yourself? Yeah. Do you get me? Do you know yourself? Of course, like certain insecurities kind of like make you navigate life and actually like discover yourself which is a good thing mm -hmm. so if you went through the insecurity and you're like i, I don't like how i am and i'm going through mm -hmm. this you're gonna change it mm. you're gonna try change it mm. i feel like that's what you should like try aim try changing it mm -hmm. who feels that way you know that you have this insecurity but when you end up in the same position mm -hmm. you don't do anything about oh, yeah. it you know so i feel like you should try change it but it's a bittersweet thing because insecurities do make you a better person or they can like break you. Honestly, I guess it just all depends on you as a person. Yeah. If you are gonna actually get to a point where you accept them and actually try and analyze and see if it's something you can change mm -hmm. and try to change it if you can. You know, because there are certain things that you really have limited control over, you know, and the best right. thing you can do is to accept that okay this is who you are and the beauty of it is it makes you who you are mm. so embracing that compared to just always being the one that you know you discourage yourself on a daily basis and mm. you don't become the one to empower yourself because it's difficult to maneuver through life if you're not your own cheerleader or if you do not empower yourself as a person whether mm. it's you having more positive conversations with yourself, thinking positively, or trying to seek help externally, whether it's you reading a book that will help you think a certain way. For example, you get, like us ladies, we, you know, it's a given. <laughs> uh, if we go really, we go through a lot of insecurities, you yeah. know, and it's different for every girl. Some it's beauty related, some don't think they're smart enough or whatever the case is. But mostly they focus more on their value being based on their physical, you know, the yeah. physical part of themselves. So 
For example, you get a woman who will decide to invest in their mind and to smarten up, knowing damn well that maybe she doesn't feel beautiful enough. So she decides to, you know, increase her value in a different aspect within her, which covers up certain parts that she feels she cannot change. So it's a broad conversation. I just wanted yeah. to give you a different side with regards to a female's perspective because we're here it's a collective we yeah. we we you know sharing thoughts and all of that so yeah sure that is very interesting actually yeah. <laughs> very interesting how you went in yeah. <laughs> pagati, 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 yeah. so i just felt like it was necessary to have such conversations yeah. to know how you know many people really go through because we don't know what demons you're fighting alone and maybe just getting access to that one message actually helps a part of you that you weren't proud or you didn't have um, the, the, the ability to vocalize because it happens like we spoke about the insecurities it's not always easy especially for guys to say that i'm insecure uh, I tell won't. me about it <laughs> uh, they won't forget, forget about it. <laughs> For a guy to say I'm insecure forget and I'm insecure it. in this area of my life. Uh, Maybe there's a few that can say it, you know? but majority, though. Majority, I, I don't know. I <laughs> <laughs> Me, now personally, I wasn't the type to voice out my opinions. Mm. You know, so, like, yeah, I wouldn't say ish. I'll just keep I quiet. Yeah. Mm. Too lazy. Yeah, it's like killing the soul, <laughs> <Lord> in the hill, <laughs> killing the inside. Right? But you managed to overcome them though, because you're not yeah. living in that space anymore. Yeah, I mean like if you're vocal about certain things, then it gets better. Mm. It gets better. So over time, I started being vocal. Mm. You, know, you know, even like accepting that you're yeah. insecure, like ah, guys, just accept. <laughs> hey, accept it's it. It's rough, aren't you? <laughs> Just accept it, it gets better when you accept it because you're now like recognizing, like, oh man, I'm really insecure about this. And now that's where the work begins because most people are in denial, they don't want to accept that okay, this is a problem, how do I fix it? But if you yeah. if you actually, like you said, vocalize it and accept it, you start saying, okay, you know what, actually, life goes on. It's okay, it's okay. doesn't make you less masculine, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. No, we're human at the end of the day. You are. <laughs> yeah. Another, okay, the final question. It's quite, okay, I don't know how you're going to take this, but we're going to have to get in, okay? Right. And it's well, like, for a guy, Because I've been thinking about this, actually. It's not, I've seen how difficult it is for a guy to stay single. <laughs> to stay single with an intention. Right, not yeah. just because they feel like they're not handsome enough or whatever, 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 but yeah. they are intentional about being single because they want to attach themselves to a greater part of themselves or be aware of certain corners that exist within them. Mm-hmm. So, you being my friend and you going through that space, I just want to know what, what, like, what was going through your mind when you decided to actually embark on this journey because it's not easy i've spoken to many other guys and they just can't stay single for a long time <laughs> they can't it's always a thing of no i don't want to be lonely i don't want to be lonely so uh, but you came on this alone. period but they forget, <laughs> they like, forget. Cer- certain things like you just have to realize that you don't really need them mm-hmm. you know like it's it's <laughs> Maybe I'll have to change the way it is. Just the way it is. <laughs> but just what drove you to actually saying, you know what? I see the temptation is around, but I know my vision is here, and it's on me sticking my like finding who I really am, you and know not what being ashamed. Me? What? The fact that I realized that oh damn, I'm young, right? Mm. I'm young, I'm color, I've got a whole life, right? So it in your ways. Like, why are you living my life the way I'm supposed to? Mm. You know, and that's just me personally. Mm. I ain't mm. living it the way I'm supposed to. Like, damn. You know? So let me just focus on myself, focus on building like everything that I need, achieve everything. Yeah. You know, because in a space where I was in a relationship, like it 
not a lot of people can like actually focus on themselves in a relationship, mm-hmm. you know, so it's okay guys, you know. If you can, shout out to you. But like if you can't uh, join the join the club, you know. Period. So <laughs> it was it was that thing to okay, cool. Mm-hmm. I'm in the space now in my life. Okay, I'm saying, damn, you know, do I go back to like the same pattern, you know, getting someone new or just change. Like it doesn't hurt because I'm still young. Mm-hmm. That's another thing I'm still young. Mm-hmm. And so I can learn from that experience. Let me go this route and see. So when I went that route, it was like, oh damn, okay, I'm starting to learn about myself. Mm-hmm. You know, because yeah. you like grow every day. You do. Like, what do I like? Damn, yeah. I like this. New hobbies, you know. I started doing a whole lot of things I never thought I could like do. Yeah. You feel me? And that's just internal growth. People don't really need to see that like I'm growing. Mm. Like besides the physical part, okay, cool, you'll see that, you know. But like internally, they may be like, ah, she's still the same or he's still the same. Mm. But like you the one that knows it's like, ah, not me, I'm You're there. growing. <laughs> you feel me? So yeah. sometimes that internal growth can also like glow on the outside. Wow. And like some people see it mm. and they want a piece of it. Some yeah. people just you know, keep quiet and, stay. and just stay and be like, I see the light, but yeah. I see. So it's just that a lot of people like try to look for answers, which is like, you know, how do you go? Just, mm. just follow your own, create your own pattern, mm. you know, and take care of your spirit. Mm. Don't be happy, tell me. You're going to be happy because. I feel like taking care of your spirit, mm. inviting God, mm-hmm. Jesus Christ into your life, mm-hmm. kind of fills that void of like, ah, oh, I'm afraid to be alone. Mm-mm. You feel me? Ah, me, I don't want to be alone. Kind of like fills that void. So like, it doesn't really like matter as long as you got there, you know? Like they're here. The creator is here. Mm-hmm. You know? oh, if you need it, you come down. Film. so it's it's not hard guys <laughs> i think it's they do hard. make it seem like it's the most difficult thing in this world to and do and like right? maybe it's due to the fact that like it doesn't look cool mm, like, of like, course yo, it does yo, you don't have broads dog you, mm. you don't have girls like mm. it's like yo mm. you know it's okay it's okay you're focusing on yourself mm. you know focusing on yourself it's okay you hit a nerve yeah, you hit it Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah. So to just summarize everything, I just wanted to have this conversation with my bro right here, just to show you guys from a male's perspective how important it is to rely on something deeper than the, what you can see to actually live in this world peacefully. You know, yeah. so I wanted someone who gets it, yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> who get, who's living it, where it's not a thing of he's yeah. preaching or talking about it, but he's living it. Because sometimes I think, man, this person is so positive, I just don't get, yeah. you know, <laughs> I just don't get how, you know what I mean? Through it all, just, I can do this, I can go through it. So it is possible to just get to a point in your life where all aspects of you are in sync and even if they're not you are the one who gets to rectify that or to leave it to progress you know what i mean and to progress as life goes on yeah trust the process exactly it's okay to go through the most exactly but like don't be stuck in that phase right it's not helpful because that's something I've learned from you actually. Yeah. That to not be stuck, be in, stuck. in, you know, the misery and to get comfortable in the pain. Yeah. Because you familiarize yourself with it. It becomes so normal mm. that you even enjoy it without that you That you enjoy realize. it without you realizing. <laughs> where yeah. thinking positively is like, ah, I can't. It doesn't know? cost much to like change your thoughts. Mm. That's it. That mind change, that mindset change. It like, can change your life. Yeah, it's just simple things like decision making. You know, you may be afraid, like speaking, like this is for guys in general. Mm. Like, you see a nice girl, go about, yes, yes. <laughs> how am I going to go to that one? But that's just 
you actually overcoming that and actually going even though you feel that way that's what you call positive Period. that's what you call changing your thoughts you know that's what's needed actually not just in that aspect but like everything in like your life mm-hmm. you should attack in that way so, you know be positive about it guys yeah guys we can go on and on and on and on and on but for the sake of this video i just wanted to thank you so much for tuning in for joining us for this conversation as we spilled some tea and please do make sure that you follow my homie sketch fanatic he also produces amazing music you do not want to miss out on that so i really do appreciate you guys being here i hope you guys were fed emotionally spiritually and mentally because at the end of the day we're all here to grow and we all need that space where we know that we can go and get content that will feed my soul not just entertain me so i hope that's exactly what this did for you yeah shout out to you actually for this series i feel like it's going to be dope eh? shut up. <laughs> it's gonna be too much it's gonna be too much shut i feel like the people need this you know honestly yeah honestly, so we don't like get a lot of content like this from like a safe people so right i feel like it's very essential mm. you know so shout, shout out to you you're doing an amazing job you shout know to y'all you're the best you guys yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in i don't want you guys giving me your love so gay give me give me chips na makunya on a sunday morning when I in summer, man.